Step on up, it's time to read a story now. Super awesome fun, you'll see. Come on in, the story's round the corner now. Super awesome story time with me. Hello everyone, it's Crystal here from Super Awesome Storytime. I'm so excited to read another story with you all today. I wonder what today's story might be about? Oh. <laughs> but before we find out, I thought maybe we could sing a song and warm up our bodies. What do you think? Amazing. Well, I know this song called Mary Had a Little Lamb. Have you heard that before? Wonderful. If not, just follow along with the actions and sing along as well if you feel. <laughs> okay, well this is going to be our lamb. Can you show me your lamb ears? And this is going to be our Mary. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb, a little lamb, a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day, bah, school one day, bah, school one day. It followed her to school one day to see what it could learn. It made the children laugh and play, ha ha, laugh and play, hee hee, laugh and play. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. <laughs> Amazing lambs. Oh, that was wonderful. And very good little Marys too. So wonderful. Oh, that's amazing. Now, should we do a little bit of a wriggle and a bit of a shake? Okay, here we go. Let us warm up our fingers. Oh, wriggle, 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 wriggle. Let's warm up our toes and our legs. Bop, 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 bop. Let's warm up our bodies by twisting around. Twist, 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 twist. And a big shake. From the top to the ground. Oh, I am feeling nice and warm. How about you? Mm, amazing. Now, before we find out what today's story is about, should we have a guess? Oh, I'm so glad you said that. That's wonderful. Okay, what do you think today's story might be about? Hmm? Wow, that would be so cool. That's really awesome too. Hmm. Oh, what do I think today's story is about? Hmm. Well, let me see. Hmm. I think today's story might be about what about a big silver shiny rocket ship about to get ready to blast off? Three, two, one. Pshhh, up into the sky. Hmm. Maybe it's about that, or maybe it is about hmm, a little tiny flower who is pushing pshhh, to get up. Out of the ground and grow a big, beautiful rainbow colored petals. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's about, too. Hmm. Well, are you ready to find out? Wonderful. Okay, let's have a look what's behind the story pillow. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> Who is at the zoo? Wow. Oh, this looks like an awesome story. Hmm. I wonder what this could be about. Well,. If it has something to do with the title of the book, which is the name of the book, I'm going to guess it's got to do something with zoos and maybe, do you know what this animal is here? <gasps> a rhinoceros, that's right. And do you know this one here? It has a slithering sound, <laughs> a snake, that's right. Hmm, well, this looks like a lot of fun, but these animals seem to be doing things that animals don't usually do. Holding a stop sign, doing some painting, Hmm. Well, I'm very much looking forward to finding out what this story is about. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Who is at the zoo? Written by Sharon J. Boyce and illustrated by Suzanne Horton. I walk into my bathroom and much to my surprise, there's a tiger on the toilet and a hippo in the tub. She's using all our jasmine soap to give herself a scrub. Well, have you ever seen a tiger on a toilet reading the paper and a hippo in the bathtub going scrub a dub a dub a dub? <laughs> Me either. Hmm, I would be very surprised too, wouldn't you? <laughs> There's a monkey doing hairstyles on a lion's luscious mane and a lemur with my toothbrush spitting toothpaste down the drain. Imagine that! A lemur using your toothbrush! <laughs> oh, I don't know 
know how impressed this lion is with this new hairstyle he's got going on. <laughs> oh, then I find... What could it be? There's a zebra in the kitchen who is frying up some eggs and a warthog's eating bacon while my dog jumps up and begs. Ruff. A leopard's watching television, yelling at the screen, goal! And a peek inside the laundry shows a bear at the machine. Hang on a minute. A zebra frying up eggs? A leopard watching television and a bear doing the laundry? Well, this really is a sight. Have you seen anything like that before? <laughs> I wonder what else is around the corner. <laughs> I'm feeling quite bewildered and I haven't got a clue. If these animals are in my house, then who is at the zoo? I step outside and see... <gasps> oh, that's a very good question. What does she see? Possum in the garden bed is pulling out the weeds. A wombat hoes in nice neat rows. A rabbit drops in seeds. A deer is walking up and down while pushing on the mower. A dingo cleans the gutters using dad's electric blower. <gasps> Blowing off the leaves out of the gutter. And look at all these animals hard at work in the garden. A deer mowing the lawn. Wow. Again, something I have never seen. Hmm, I wonder what they're doing there. Hmm. Across at Mrs. Simpson's house, a penguin paints the door. A team of busy otters lay new carpet on her floor. Just as I think this day cannot get any more bizarre, I see a squirrel zooming past in Mr. Brown's new car. <laughs> oh no! The squirrel's hat has flown off as they're zooming in their car. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at those busy otters laying down the carpet there. And the penguins painting the door. I mean, this really is quite a bizarre thing to see, isn't it? <laughs> I'm confused and in a muddle. And I'm sure that you are too. If these animals are in my street, then who is at the zoo? And next I discover, oh, I wonder what she's going to find. And she's right. Who is at the zoo if all the animals are out on the street? Uh-oh, looks like there was a bit of an accident. At my school, the crossing lady is a giant tortoise. The teacher giving swimming lessons is a friendly porpoise. Trust me, you'll have a whale of a time. The senior choir is singing loud, conducted by a moose. Born free. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. And it looks as though the principal is now a honking goose. Honk. <laughs> My goodness, everything has turned upside down. A tortoise with a stop sign. Stop. But the tortoise, the giant tortoise looks very happy. And the children a little confused. There is the porpoise, the moose, and the goose. Everything has gone just haywire. <laughs> An emu on the oval leads the soccer team through drills. As I watch them running back and forth, I see they've learnt new skills. I know that I should stay at school and concentrate on classes, but then I see my teacher is a python wearing glasses. <gasps> My name is Monty, <laughs> writes the snake. Oh, sorry, the python. The python snake, my goodness. And that emu looks like it's a pretty good soccer player. Check out those socks that it's wearing. <laughs> my brain is twirling in a loop. I'm puzzled through and through. If these animals are at my school, then who is at the zoo? Please wait. In town, I see, oh, before we find out what's on the next page, look, the children are running away from the snake saying, please wait. Oh my goodness. I think everybody's a little bit shocked. I wonder what we're gonna find next. The baker is a rhino selling loaves of fresh, warm bread. It's not the postman on his bike, but a croc instead. 
In the market is a meerkat who is very busy shopping, while over at the timber yard, giraffes do all the chopping. Hiya! <laughs> As it's chopping with its foot. Oh my goodness! <gasps> oh, those cakes and those loaves of bread look super delicious. Hmm, I would try that rhino's baked goods. It looks amazing. <gasps> looks very friendly too. Hmm, looks like a very friendly crocodile. It looks like they have everything in order. <laughs> There's a mongoose at the library desk checking out a book. And my favourite little cafe has a panda as its cook. A fire truck is whizzing past, a reindeer at the wheel. I bet it's that panda again. The lifeguard watching at the beach is a giant seal. <whistles> as a seal blows its whistle, must be calling people in from the water. And there's panda there. Cooking with bamboo is the name of the book. <laughs> I wonder what delicious things Panda might be cooking today. <laughs> Although my mind is boggled, I'm curious now too. It's time I go and figure out just who is at the zoo. I hurry through the city, dodging cheetahs wearing skates. I see the zoo just up ahead and enter through the gates. I hope I'll get my answer because I haven't got a clue. I truly am befuddled as to who is at the zoo. Oh my goodness, cheetahs on skates. Hmm, it looks like they might be having a race. And I'm a little befuddled too. If all these animals are here, who in fact is at the zoo? Who do you think might be there? Oh, shall we find out? Okay. <laughs> I wander up and down the paths and look in all the cages. I laugh until my belly aches. I'm entertained for ages. <laughs> I have the best day ever. What a hullabaloo. Now I know without a doubt who is at the zoo. <laughs> well, I'm glad that they know who it is. Zebras, lions, monkeys. Well, it can't be them because we've seen them already. Are you ready to find out who's at the zoo? Please don't feed the grown-ups, the sign says. <laughs> well, I think we can now see who's at the zoo. It looks like mums, dads, brothers, maybe uncles, maybe aunties, maybe sisters. <gasps> oh, it looks like they're having a lot of fun. <laughs> and that is the end. <gasps> So with all the animals out in the street, it looks like it's the humans that are in the zoo. And with this sign, I'm gonna guess it's all the grown-ups. <laughs> oh, what a fun book. Check them out as they swing like monkeys. And on the tire, and they're eating some bananas. Ha! Huh. <laughs> what a wonderful book. How fun was that? Did you enjoy that too? Oh, it was amazing, isn't it? <gasps> Seeing all those wonderful animals doing very different things. It looks like there was a bit of a switcheroo. <laughs> and what a hullabaloo it was. <laughs> Speaking of the zoo and all of those wonderful animals, <laughs> I think I know a song just about that. Let me find my ukulele. <laughs> I found my ukulele. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to sing another song with you all. <laughs> but before we do that, should we warm up our beautiful singing voices? <laughs> Wonderful. Well, why don't we use the word hmm, zoo, like in the book. Who is at the zoo? All right, are you ready? Mm, let's get a zzzz. Sounds ready. Here we go. Zoo, 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 Amazing. All right. Now this song that we're going to sing is about all those wonderful animals that you might see next time you visit the zoo. Hmm. So, shall we get to singing? <laughs> wonderful. Okay. This song is called Who is at the Zoo? <laughs> Just like the name of the book. All right. So sing along and move and groove your bodies however you feel. Here we go. <laughs> Let's roll like the lions, roaring with all our 
wonderful. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for singing and moving and grooving along and doing all of those <laughs> raw animal noises and actions. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, and thank you so much for reading this incredible book with me. Who is at the zoo? <laughs> and speaking of incredible things, check out this incredible artwork that I received. Ooh. This awesome chalk drawing is by Joaquin and he has named it Beluga Skin. A beluga is a whale, a type of whale, the beluga whale. Hmm, can you spot it somewhere in this wonderful drawing here? I love all of the colours that you've used, Joaquin. The blues, the yellows, the pinks, all of the wonderful colours. And how great to be outside drawing on the concrete with chalk. It looks spectacular. Thank you so much for sharing this very wonderfully creative drawing. <laughs> I love it. And check out the next incredible artwork. Ooh. This wonderful drawing and painting is by Fatime, and she has drawn a beautiful flower. Actually, not one, not two, but three beautiful flowers. One in a vase that has got blue painting for the water, and a beautiful painted blue background. Hmm, it looks like it might be on a pink table, or maybe it's on a pink floor. Either way, I absolutely love it. The colours just pop right out. It is absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing, Fatima. I love it very much. And check out this next awesome artwork. Ooh. This awesome artwork here is by Yasmin, and this is super creative. It is a drawing of a bird, perhaps some type of bird with a very long beak. But can you see these tiny little sticks? They're actually toothpicks that look like they might be stuck with some kind of blue tack or something sticky, maybe Play-Doh, that has created the shape, the lining of this beautiful bird. How wonderful is that? I never would have thought to do that. That is super, super cool. Very creative. Thank you so much for sharing, Yasmin. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for sharing, Fatima. I love it very much also. And Joaquin, I love it very much also. I love them all very, very much. They are all spectacular and amazing in their own way. Thank you so much for sharing these wonderful works of art. If you would like to share your artwork, just like these awesome, talented artists, I would love to see it. So please take a picture of whatever it is you're creating, whether it is something something made of toothpicks, a chalk drawing, a painting, a drawing, a Play-Doh castle, uh, anything at all. I would love to see it and share it here on Super Awesome Storytime. So please take a picture of it and send it on through and I'll make sure to share it on the next Super Awesome episode. And if you're wondering where you can find Super Awesome Storytime, you can find it on YouTube, uh, Facebook and Instagram. So please like, tick, follow and subscribe. <coughs> And I look forward to seeing you there. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. <laughs> Step on up. It's time to read a story now. Super awesome fun. You'll see. Come on in. The story's round the corner now. Super awesome story time with me.